We present Avora, an evidential learning-based pipeline for traversability learning and off-road navigation. The goal of this work is to achieve fast navigation in off-road environments with vegetation, such as the one shown on the left. In this video, the spot robot struggled to walk through vegetation, because it wanted to avoid terrains with high elevations. While manually designing planning costs using semantic and geometric information may lead to desired behaviors, cost tuning requires a lot of human expertise. Instead, existing methods learn terrain properties directly from data to reduce human efforts, but challenges remain to properly quantify and mitigate the risk due to uncertainty. Therefore, this work considers both the upstream uncertainty-aware traversability learning problem and the downstream risk-aware motion planning problem. For fast navigation, we leverage both semantic and elevation information to infer terrain traction that captures how well the robot can achieve the desired velocities. The terrain's semantic and elevation features were obtained by building a semantic octomap that fused semantic point clouds obtained from projecting image semantics onto LiDAR points. During data collection, we drove the robot over interesting terrains and recorded the commanded velocities and the true velocities achieved by the robot as shown on the top. Notice that the robot could not always achieve the desired velocities and could only cover a limited area. After data collection, we estimate the empirical traction distributions using histograms of discretized traction values in terrain cells traversed by the robot. By learning distributions of traction values, we capture the aleatoric uncertainty due to different vehicle behaviors when driving over terrains with similar geometric and semantic features. In addition, we capture epistemic uncertainty due to the large gaps between training datasets and the various test conditions, by estimating the densities of the traction predictor's latent features. Via evidential deep learning techniques, Dirichlet distributions are parameterized by network outputs. The entire network can be trained using the proposed uncertainty aware loss function based on earth movers distance that improves learning accuracy and navigation performance compared to the conventional cross entropy based loss functions. During deployment, we use a sampling based model predictive controller for planning control sequences. To handle aleatoric uncertainty due to uncertain terrain traction, we simulate state rollouts using the conditional value at risk, or CVAR, of the traction parameters, where CVAR measures the worst case expected value of a given random variable. To handle epistemic uncertainty due to novel terrain features, we simply assign high auxiliary costs so that the robot avoids out of distribution terrains. Next, we highlight the main hardware results obtained in an outdoor environment, where two pairs of start and goal positions were used to benchmark the risk aware planner and analyze the benefits of avoiding OOD terrains. For the videos we show later, we only include a single trial obtained using the best parameter chosen for each method. The proposed planner, called CVAR Dime, generated trajectories closer to the tall grass, resulting in the best time to goal compared to the other baseline methods that will be shown next. The CVAR cost planner optimizes for the worst case expected cost, which is computationally expensive. The resultant behavior had a lot of unnecessary turns due to poor solution quality. We also compared the proposed method to a baseline that uses the nominal robot model and penalizes states entering vegetation terrains. The best performing parameter for this approach led to conservative behaviors and longer paths. We conducted experiments, to show the benefits of avoiding OOD terrains. A qualitative figure is shown on the top right corner. The main takeaway is that the robot was less prone to getting stuck in local minima by avoiding OOD terrains with unreliable traction estimation. In comparison, the planner without avoiding OOD terrains required human interventions that resulted in longer time to goal. More experiments can be found in the paper or on the project website. 